No, it's not the sewing machine company, but it is a brand that you should know about. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Summary video review. Have a look at the link below this video to go to the website. You'll get all, a lot more information about this model. All the other reviews are there too. And also some links down there as to how you can help keep this channel going because I have to be impartial so I don't take money from the brands themselves to do this. I don't get paid to do it. So that's why there's thank yous every week run across the bottom of the screen to people who very generously donated to help keep got a ukulele going. My eternal thanks to those people. You can also help me out by subscribing to the channel as well if you hit that subscribe button down there you know what that is okay yeah singer not the sewing machine company but actually uh, connected to a brand that everybody really knows now and a very exciting brand that have really been sort of pushing the envelope with ukuleles in the last few years that brand's called anui nui and they have set up a new high-end line of instruments called singer which are much more traditional uh, to look at so they've not got those sort of swoopy round bodies they haven't got funky offsets they haven't got funky names like moonbirds and things like that and lions um this is the top of the line and it's been loaned to be my world of ukes this is the singer bit of a mouthful of the name rt5rcs uh, tenor ukulele and i must say this is absolutely stunning to look at all solid woods naturally we have solid swiss uh, spruce on the top two pieces of and solid rosewood on the back and sides um, it's absolutely stunning I mean we'll just come on to that finish because that's really what's jumping out at the page of this one but it is that's a really classy combination of woods darker tone from rosewood brighter crisper tone from spruce so they balance each other out or at least they should uh, the bridge wood isn't specified on the spec it's a tie bar it's dark enough that I think it's probably ebony fitted with a compensated top bone saddle it's a tie bar as I say but as I say it's all about the decoration with this one now I love sunbursts a sunburst is created by putting a stain in this case red over the top of the spruce which is a pale yellow as you know and then buffing out the central section so you leave it my favorite guitar is a Gibson J45 which is sat over there that's a sunburst I love it and I absolutely love the way it's been done here. It's really nicely done and it pairs wonderfully with this chocolate colour of the rosewood on the back and sides. I just absolutely love that. Subjectivity and looks though. It's not all a positive for me because we've got black edge binding on the back uh, and top, wooden edge binding, but I really don't think they needed to go with this abalone. I think it's too much with the sunburst myself. You you may differ, beg to differ, you may have a different view, but I think it's just, it's too gaudy for me. I'm not a fan of Ambaloni anyway, and I just think this would look, this sunburst would look better just doing its own thing with some cream binding around the top. There we are. Inside, very thin braces. I'm told that they've changed the bracing pattern on this one because this body, as I say, is a lot smaller than the big rounded Anui Nui Moonbirds. Uh, notch linings put in place in reverse, which I've seen before. Very, very tidy in there. And it's finished in a wonderful gloss. It's so thin, the gloss. And in fact, when I look at the sunburst top, the spruce top, you can almost see it ripple on the grain, which makes me wonder whether it's actually a nitrocellulose gloss like it is on Gibson J45 guitars. It's a very thin gloss either way. Very, very nice. The neck is not specified wood. Uh, probably mahogany there's a joint down here it's also finished in the sunburst as well which i think looks really wonderful it's glossed but it's not too sticky i think satin would have been better um but it's still nice sort of slightly flattened profile here 37 and 29 at the nut which is uh, wider than average so that's very very comfortable and it's also a radius board i think that's ebony Again, very dark, although, as I say in the written review, you can see the little white specks where they haven't quite polished out the polish. Um, it's easily fixed with some oil and some wire wool, but it uh, just looks a bit untidy, to be honest. But it's a radius board on the top, 20 frets, which are kind of very shallow frets, but, but jumbo in thickness. 20 of those, 14 to the body. Obviously, they're curved as well on the radius. I love these sort of snowflake and leaf type of inlays for position at three, five, seven. 10 12 and 15 and you get some pearly side dots as well 
Um, this is a wonderfully comfortable neck, absolutely beautiful. Beyond that bone nut, um, yeah, really like that. Not the normal Anui Nui headstock shape. It's kind of, again, very sort of old fashioned style, asymmetric top, finished in like a piano black ebony face cap. I love the single logo much more than I like the Anui Nui logo. That's very nice. They're very nice as well. About as good a set of tuners as you could expect on a high-end instrument. These are Goto planetary tuners with little gears inside in all black. I think they suit the instrument brilliantly. They're really good. Comes with a set of Anui Nui Blackwater fluorocarbon strings. It comes with possibly one of the nicest hard cases I've ever seen come with an instrument with the name on it and this wonderful green velour lining to it. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, these are all top end appointments. So it's going to have a top end price. People thought the Moonbirds were expensive. This is even more. This is 1699. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Um, but there are people out there who have the budgets for instruments like that. And uh, I don't think there'll be any problem with World of Uke shifting this. I think some people buy it. Um, but it's really got to do its job. If you're going to be at that top table with that kind of money, it's got to be pretty special. And I'm intrigued about what, what they've done with this new bracing because it is a smaller body those those moonbirds are really loud really well voiced uh, because they've got a lot of real estate on the top this is a smaller affair oh i love these tuners absolutely love these tuners i can already tell that i'm liking the tone i have been playing it obviously i'm just saying that for effect on the video volume one of the punchiest ukuleles I think I've ever played. Oh, blimey, that's direct. Sustain. Uh, huge. But there's complexity. That's got dynamic range right across. This is a high. This is a high G, uh, a re-entrant. But that's got bass. It's got middle. It's got treble. It's got jangle. So crisp sounding coming from the spruce, but it's not overly bright. So the rosewood is doing something. I'm really going on about this. Let's. So strumming is is huge fun. Oh blimey, this is it's too good an instrument for my quality of playing. Justice. That's one of the nicest sounding ukuleles I've ever played. It's really, really that nice. Um, so much complexity to that tone. None of it's muddy. So much complexity. Everything's crisp. It's not too bassy. It's not too trebly. It's right across the range. Gee. Blimey, blimey, blimey. 
so I totally can see where the volume is so good. This is just still ringing now. Uh, I can totally see where £1,700 has gone. I fully appreciate that a lot of people don't have £1,700 to spend on an instrument. Get that. But people do. And I can see where the money's gone. Can you hear it echoing? It's so resonant. Uh, I totally get that. I love the looks of it. I dropped the abalone myself, but it's not night life and death to me. I think that's a wonderful wood combination. The build is superb. That neck is really comfortable. Great tuners, great case, great everything, really. The Singer by Anui Nui RT5RCS tenor. Uh, yeah, I prefer the silly names of the Moonbirds and the Lions to RT5RCS, but... Um, Okay, what's in a name? Look how beautiful that is. Thank you so much to Matt Warns for trusting me with this. I'm going to get a clock on this now and get rid of these fingerprints because it's a beautiful instrument. Um, absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Oh, God, I'm a lucky boy getting things like this to look at. Uh, thanks for your ongoing support. Have a very good week ahead. Look after each other. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.